Hello, and welcome to our unboxing and demo video for the Hike Vision DS 2CD 2542FWD. This camera is available in three different models. Hyphen I is the standard, Hyphen IS features a microphone, and Hyphen IWS features a microphone and wireless connection. Now, when you open the box, the first thing you will find is a mounting plate. The mounting plate allows you to fix the camera to any wall or ceiling. Next in the box, to go with the plate, you will find a drill template for accurate and easy installation. Next, you'll find a packet which contains a quick start guide to help you get the camera up and running. And a software CD. The CD does feature everything you need, but we would advise checking with Hype Vision's own website as to whether or not it's the latest software available, as some cameras can be brand new, but have been out of the factory for weeks or months, in which time new updates could have been released. After this, you'll find another small bag, which includes a lens adjustment tool, which as the name suggests, lets you adjust the lens position without smudging or damaging the lens itself. Also, you'll find a hex tool for unscrewing Hype Vision's own hexagonal hex screws. And two small mounting screws for mounting the camera to the mounting plate. In the box, you will also find a connector gasket that seals and protects your network connection from moisture. Along with this, you will also find a set of three wall screws with standard raw plugs. And finally, there is the camera body itself. The camera is simple in design with no ports on the back and easy to install with two simple screw holes. When you wish to access the inside of the camera, this is easily done by taking the hex tool and unscrewing all four screws from the front of the camera. Then, the front cover should simply lift off. Once open, you'll be able to clearly see the two screw holes on the back that you can use to mount the camera to the mounting plate. Going back around to the front, you'll see a microphone, which is available on the IS and IWS models. A reset button that also acts as a WPS wireless connection button for the IWS model. And all models feature the small hex screw next to the lens that when loosened allows you to adjust the lens's position. On the side of the camera you will find a micro SD slot. This range of cameras can handle up to 128GB of onboard storage which is useful if installing as a single camera without an MDR. The camera comes with three connectors as standard, an alarm input output port, a 12 volt DC in port and a LAN network port. When you come to mount your camera you will first have to use the drill template and drill the holes where you wish to mount. A is where you will want to drill a large hole if you are passing your cables through the wall or ceiling, and the spots marked with ones are the mounting holes. Now, the mounting plate. As already mentioned, it has four screw holes, the two directly opposite each other for attaching the camera to the plate, and the other two are only used when mounting to a junction box or bracket. Once the plate is secured to the wall via the curved slots, you will need to attach the camera. To do this, simply pass the camera's cables through the wall or into the junction box behind the plate, and then take the two small screws shown earlier and screw the camera to the plate. After securing the camera into position, you can connect it and get a live image up on a nearby computer. Once you can see an image, it's likely you'll want to adjust the viewing angle of the lens. To do this, simply unscrew the hex screw next to the lens, once loose, take the lens adjustment tool and stick its two little prongs into the holes at the top and bottom of the lens. Now you can adjust all three axes of movement, rotate, pan and tilt. Once you have the image on your monitor level or in the desired position, then simply tighten the hex screw to lock into place. Now, 
This is the last demo of this video and uh, we wanted to do something that we've never done before in any video that we've posted to this channel. So we're going to do a demo of the weather and vandal resistance of the camera. Just to be transparent and uh, so we don't get any complaints on the video, the camera will be testing here with these physical tests will be a 2532 and not a 2542. They both have the same IK and IP ratings uh, and really the only reason we're doing it is because the 2532 is an older generation and it is now old stock that we have and so it will be reduced in price anyway and will be reduced more in price because of the tests we do to it as it will be open box. The first test we're going to be doing is a vandal resistance test. This is measured by the IK rating scale. Uh, this camera specifically is rated at IK8 which is almost the highest rating an IP camera can be given. It means that it can withstand up to 1.7 kilograms dropped from about 30 centimetres. We will be using a 1.5 kilogram weight as it's the largest round number weight we could get our hands on. So let's get started with the test. As you can see, there's no visible damage, and we tested the camera afterwards, and it was still functioning correctly. Now we're going to test the camera's IP66 weather resistance rating. This means the camera can withstand very strong forces of water. So to test this, we will be pouring a very fast, continuous stream of water over the camera, as well as some very sudden splashes of water over the camera. So let's get started with the test. As you can see, when we dry off the camera and open it up, the rubber seal around the camera has kept all of the water out. And as well, afterwards, when we plug the camera in, it was still functioning correctly. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so by clicking the link over here. If you'd like to follow us on our social media feeds, you can find links in the description below. If you'd like to know more about this product or any other products we sell on our web shop, follow the link here. And if you'd like more videos like this, click the playlist up here. Once again, thank you and we'll see you in the next video.